Power BI is powerful, but there's one thing that stops a lot of people. You need a work or school email to access the online Power BI service. So what happens if you only have a Gmail or Yahoo account? Good news. I'll show you how to walk around that and get full access for free. Let's go step by step. First, here's something important. You can use Power BI Desktop without signing in. It's a free standalone application you can download to your computer. You can build reports, analyze data, no login required. But if you want to publish reports online or collaborate with others, you need to access the Power BI service. And for that, Microsoft requires a work or school email. Personal emails like Gmail or Yahoo, they are not accepted, at least not directly. So here's the workaround. Open your browser and go to this website. On the home page, click the button that says try for free. You see a list of products. Pick anyone like sales, customer service or contact center. I'm going to go with sales. Now it's going to ask you for your email address. Go ahead and enter your Gmail, Yahoo or Hotmail address. Check the box for the terms and click the button start your free trial. It's going to say, please enter a work account for the best trial experience. That's okay. Look for the option that says, set up a new account instead. Click that. It's going to give you this puzzle to solve. Solve that quickly. Now we are setting up a new Microsoft work account. It's still going to ask you to enter your work or school email address and it will check if you need to create a new account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my personal email address, which is my Yahoo email address and click next. Now you get this message that says, looks like you need to create a new account. Let's get you started. So click on the setup account button, fill in your details like your name, phone number for verification. And when it's asked if your company has a website, select no. You can give yourself any random job title. I'm going to type in Power BI user and for the company name, I would type in ABC. So the company size, make any selection and click next. A verification code is going to be sent to your number. Click the send verification code to go through the verification process. I'm going to type in the code I got from my phone and verify. You will now be asked to pick a username and a domain. For the username, I have my name and for the domain, I'm just going to type this in. Choose a secure password and click next. Now the account is being created. You might see a payment screen. Don't worry, this is a free trial and you can keep adding payment details. Now go to powerbi.com. You can see that my newly created email has been identified. So I'm going to click on the continue button, put in my job title, my phone number and click get started. Get started again. That was the process for signing up for Microsoft Fabric. It's part of the Power BI online experience. And with all of that, you're in. You can now publish reports from Power BI desktop to the online Power BI service, share dashboards, collaborate, and enjoy the full experience, even if you didn't have a work or school email before. To finalize, with Power BI Desktop, no signing is needed. But Power BI service requires a work or school account, but you can create one for free like we just did. Keep an eye on your email for any trial expiration notices. And remember, this trick gives you more time to explore Power BI before committing to anything. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more practical Power BI tutorials, and if you run into any issues, drop a comment below, I'd love to help.